morning everybody so I'm just leaving my street I feel a bit rough I'll probably look rough as well need a shave as well but having driven driven to Bournemouth and back in the same day it's uh I feel all right actually I feel all right I probably just need a coffee or something but uh we're going to see NUFC women I'm off to meet Johnny uh, let's just take a look at the league table. Of course, I went down with Little Ferdinand last week to see the Lasters win. It's back to uh, league football. It's York City. I don't think Durham are playing today either, which this is a real opportunity for Becky Langley to close the gap at the top with the games in hand. I said last week I think it's going to be between one of the two North East sides. So it's going to be one of the North East sides that looks like that's going to get promoted this season. Remember, you've got to come top to get promoted. There's no playoffs in this league, which I feel is a little bit harsh, but how I... I'm going to head up to Kingston Park now. Uh, we've got the press passes as well, so I've got the camera equipment. Right, let's get going. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. At night she's screaming, I'm my, 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 out my mind. Oh, she's hot but a psycho. So left right, we've parked up. So normal people go over there. Uh, press go through here, yeah, so that's where we'll be going. She's right though, at night she's screaming, I'm my, 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 out my mind. She'll make you curse, but see you blessing. She'll rip your shirt, but then a second, you'll be coming back, back for seconds. With your pain, you just can't help it. No, no, you'll play along, uh, uh. let her lead you on, uh, uh. you'll be saying you no. seen these convicts before on YouTube. Keg and Renty everybody. Afternoon, mate. Afternoon. Afternoon. Good to see you. Good to see you. See you. So Grace Donnelly starts in goal for Newcastle. A couple of new signings as well which I we mentioned earlier, um, later on I should say, but the back four days at Burp. Just got that uh, England call up as well so she's in it right back. Freya Bales, Charlotte Park centre half, Kira Skelton on the left back. The midfield, Muddy Bell starting off on the right hand side. At the minute, Georgia Gibson moving into a more deeper role centre midfield uh, with Milne Redhead, who's just just signed. I mentioned that the third midfielder and up front, Katie Barker, slightly I'm thinking slightly deeper in a number ten position. And Bianca Owens, who also is a new signing, she's up top for Newcastle this afternoon in a game that just need to keep on winning, just keep on winning games, and they'll be all right. Like a kid in a candy shop, isn't he? You've eaten some as well. I've only had two. What's your favourite? I don't know if you can have the chocolate balls if you want, because I'm not a fan of them. Might have seen me with some chips before. I'm going to score them a solid 9 out of 10. Beautiful chips, not enough, but the quality of them is really high. So there you go, there's some free, free advertisement for you. Put me on, do you? Wait there. Delete it, because I mean. Johnny's taking his time eating, so I'll tell you. <laughs> Newcastle are 1 0 down already. Kira Skelton didn't get a head out of it, it was a short corner, she misses it. A little bit of a scramble, York go 1 0 up. But at early doors, it's only four what? Minutes, it's only four or five four, minutes in. Four minutes in. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. But not what uh, Becky Langley would have wanted to see. But we're Newcastle, we'll definitely create chances. Comment below how you like your tea. So I've gone deep tea bag, a little bit of milk, sorted. That's kind of like my little section. What am I going to ask Becky and the player, or an A player, because you don't know who you're going to get just yet? That's the actual mm. formation to what you think. And at the minute, this is just what we've got written down. So, at the minute, obviously, we're only about six minutes in. It's 1 0 to York, but it's still, plenty, it's still plenty of time. And fans certainly haven't given up. This has been cheering the girls on. Johnny's right because it's just been an absolute storm wall. Handball goalkeeper runs out. Yeah, Charlotte Potter with the ball. Great ball. Georgia Gibson, who makes a fantastic run. The keeper does, to be fair, I'll give her credit. 
does come out, but Georgia Gibson gets there first, tries to lob it over the goalkeeper. It looked like a handball for where I'm sitting. Becky Langley and the rest of the players certainly thought so. The fans certainly thought, they thought so. The one person that didn't, the referee. Newcastle have a penalty. It's Bianca Owens. Come on. Goal from Newcastle United on score. Goal for Newcastle. Georgia Gibson lobs it through. Bianca's in goal. On goal, sorry. Goalkeeper kind of saves it. It ricochets back to Millie Bell. Her shot's deflected and spins around the goalkeeper. Newcastle are 2-1 in front. As Johnny has said, this is a must-win game. Johnny, what are you doing? There's a game going on. Watching the game. There's a, there, so there's a game going on, Johnny. Why are you watching a Premier League game? That's on my phone, that's disgraceful, Johnny. Your loyalty at NUFC women needs questions. Hold on a second, hold on a second. <laughs> two, two, Johnny, on goal. Yeah, on goal, I'm afraid. Another corner, no, well, that's what it is, another corner. I suppose it was a short version of the first goal, but this one just crossing the box, Newcastle couldn't clear the lines, and I think it's I think it's beyond the ones. I guess the final touch, I, have to, again, I can't confirm that, but... Um, right into the roof of the net, we haven't got the oh, lampline yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah, no, Hollyford again. Hollyford has been getting been credited with the goals. <laughs> Chanted half time, Katie Barker played through by Daisy Burt, lifted over the goalkeeper just wide. Half time here at Kingston Park, Newcastle United winning two. Thank you, Andy. Let lead you on. You'll be saying no, 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 no. Don't say yes, yes, yes. Cause she messing with your head. Oh, she is sweet, but a psycho. A little bit psycho. At night she's screaming, but my mama left my mind. Oh, she is hot, but a psycho. So let push is right, though. At night she's screaming, but my mama left my mind. Grab a cat, gun kinda crazy. And the taste that people say run, don't walk away. Cause she's sweet, but a psycho. A little bit psycho. At night, she's screaming, I'm on my mind. Oh, she's sweet, but a psycho. A little bit psycho. You're just like me. You're out of your mind. I know it's strange. We're both the crazy kind. You're telling me that I'm insane. Rent has been signing autographs down there. Everyone's been telling him that his uh, work rate is unmatched. <laughs> F guys just had one from 25 yards in first time effort. It's just gone wide. That's Newcastle's best chance this second half. <laughs> Game over, Johnny? Yeah, it looks like that way. Yeah, just over 10 minutes until the end of the game. And Georgia Gibson, Katie Bart, their partnership up and running once again. Lovely little through ball from KB into the path of Gibson just to keep it to beat. Slots it past the on rushing goalkeeper. <laughs> Johnny has got himself uh, way over the other end behind us there. He's going to be interviewing Becky and a player. But before we hear from uh, Johnny, let's take a look how that affects the league table. 
That looks a lot more better for Newcastle, doesn't it? Without Durham playing today, Newcastle have closed the gap and they've got a game in hand and they need to play Durham at home. So it's all to play for. As I said at the start of the video, remember, only top place will get you promoted. Newcastle have got to win the league to go up and I just generally think it's between us and Durham. But yeah, it, it, it was a good win. It was a good win, a hard-fought win. But let's get over to Johnny. Johnny, what about you? Anna. It's been a long journey, but you're back. Yeah. And how was it just playing with the girls on the pitch after such a long time out? Oh, it was unbelievable. Honestly, it's just like wait, 16 months I've waited. And then when it finally happened, I just wanted to enjoy it. I wasn't even nervous. I just missed it so much. I just enjoyed it. Was it just pure excitement? Because like, you say that you got no nerves. I think like a lot of people would be like, oh, I don't want to get injured again. But you just seem so natural just playing with the girls and just seem to be really involved as well. Yeah, no, I think that's a lot down to the physios and how well they've managed my injury. Like, I'm not nervous to do it again because I've been built up so good this time. I just don't... I it's really unlikely I'll do it again, touch wood. Absolutely fine. Who, is, is the physio's been your, your biggest help or has it been a collective, the, like your family in terms of your teammates as well? Is it I mean, any standout people in particular? My mum, it's got to be my mum. And then the physio's, yeah. All my family, but my mum, yeah, she's been there for me through everything. Um, the physios here are unbelievable as well. Like I said, I don't see myself doing it again. Touch wood. That's fantastic. In terms of from now at the end of the season, what are your personal targets? I know there's obviously team targets, but what's your personal targets that you would like to achieve from now at the end of the season? I want to get I want to get a goal, a couple of goals, but as long as we get promoted and the team does well. Don't really have any personal ones. Just want to get promoted, get a couple of goals as well, especially here. What's been, and what was Becky saying to you before you came on today? Because it, it, was, it seemed to have like a little conversation. Was it more tactical or was it just kind of just go out there and just do what you can? She said, you haven't waited 16 months watching to not make an impact. I feel like I went and done that, didn't I? You certainly did. Well done and welcome back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Becky, a tough win, <laughs> but a win. And that's just the most important thing at the minute, isn't it? Absolutely. The, the most important thing was making sure we grinded the game out and got three points. Um, really disappointed to concede two set pieces today. Um, we you know, prided ourselves in making sure that we really minimised them and we've only conceded, I think, four set pieces the whole season. So today that was disappointing. But other than that, I thought we did well. Um, I think the subs who came on really made a positive impact. And yeah, I'm delighted Katie Barker's got on the score sheet again. Yeah, she just loves scoring goals at, at the best of times. But it was it was quite interesting to see because there were subtle changes for maybe the long term yeah. fans in the sense that Katie Barker was almost like a free roll in that number ten in the first half, and Georgia Gibson Georgia Gibson was a little bit deeper. Why did you do that? And what was you thinking about that? Yeah, so Bianca's a complete different type of striker. She's reliable on the ball. She's got that hold up play, um, so we can play off her. And obviously having Katie and Georgia as two tens was was brilliant um, in that they give that different type of threat. I thought Katie when she's playing deeper she's able to get on the ball more and drive at players and obviously that's what bought us the penalty in the first half but yeah Katie's a versatile player she's a fantastic footballer she's played the number 10 role for me at Northumbria Uni for kind of two seasons as well so she's got that adaptability but I think what's great is we've got options now and you could see the, the depth of the squad we needed it today and it was just great to have more options. What was said at half time because I've just been speaking to Lloyd off camera. He says I'm sick and tired of talking about set pieces and just making sure that we're switched on at the back. Yeah. Was that just that? It was almost. It seemed to me just get that bit right and everything else will take care of itself almost. Absolutely. I think you know share our frustration at half time. I think it's about making sure you've got that emotional intelligence as a coach to keep level headed. You know, there's a massive part you want to just tear the roof off in anger because it's not even necessarily the scoreline, just how we were performing, just didn't feel like us. Um, so yeah, we were frustrated at half-time, which hopefully gave the players a bit of a rocket to kick on in the second half, but just having that real clarity, of these are three things we want you to go after in the second half, and I think they, they nailed that, so I'm really proud of them. New signings, new headaches, is it now, in terms of getting an 11, because of course we've got likes of Anna coming back today and she seems she buzzing just to be on the pitch today. I've just spoken to her there and she yeah. seems absolutely delighted to be involved. Obviously Rachel Lee as well. Are you thinking like whenever you decide to pick the team Friday, Saturday, whatever it is, you go, who am I going to let down? Yeah, but that's the best problem to have. I think earlier in the season when we had a lot of injuries and not enough depth, it was a case of we were borrowing players from the development team, um, young players, whereas now it's like we've got that real depth and quality. So it was brilliant to see Anna back on the pitch. It was brilliant to see Rachel back on the pitch. Um, but Anna especially could see that creativity and she kept it simple and she was a real threat on the right-hand side when she came on. So, you know, she's had a long time out with an ACL injury that happened at the start of last season. So before the club came on board to support and help with medical resources, Anna was pretty much left to you know, be on the NHS and go from there. So she's done really well. She's a top girl. Um, 
but yeah, all the players today, you know, every single player I work with here works hard behind the scenes to make sure this club's going in the right direction. So some of them, you know, you're not always going to perform your best. I think for some of the new players, you know, coming and playing in a stadium feel was overwhelming. Um, and we'll have to, as the players did at the start of the season, find their feet with that. Um, but when they ease into it, I think they'll, they'll do really well. Just finally, four points off top now with a game in hand. Yeah. It's still in your own hands, essentially. You win your last nine games of the, the season. You're going up. Is that the message? Just one game at a time? Or is it just just try and improve week on week and we'll see what happens? Have you put any pressure on the girls to go, this is what we need to do? Or is it how? what is the message, really? I think we're really clear with what our long-term aims are, but it's about focusing on the short term. This is what we need to do now and being in the present and not focusing too much about what's happening elsewhere. The only thing we can control is ourselves and our own level of performance and the outcome will just come as a byproduct of that. Um, so, yeah, I think just making sure we were focused on York and making sure we knew what their weaknesses were and how we were going to exploit them. But, yeah, we're counting them down. We've got nine left. It's nice that it's went down to single figures now. Um, so, yeah, we want to win every single game. So we'll just be focusing and making sure that we're preparing the team to be absolutely focused for every single match we play. Fantastic. Thanks again, Becky. Thank you. Right then, everybody, that is it. Enjoyed your day? Good day, good win for the oh, losses. What's happening What's going on now with it? Good win for I think 15 stewards are trying to get in one car. No, good, win, good win for the losses. And it's nice to see um, some new players and some returning old players that we haven't seen in a little while. So, yeah, Becky's got a headache because it's Millsborough next on the 21st of February, five days before the Cup final, in which Newcastle just need to keep on winning. Let's get that winning momentum. Hi. Uh, I echo that. That was your, that's the away bus. Uh, my car's down there as well, so I'm gonna love yous and leave yous and love Johnny. Well, not love him, but leave him. Is the right terminology. That's gonna get clipped up now, isn't it? Right, everybody. Tada! Are you that lad off YouTube? <laughs> Oh, she's sweet but a psycho